Hello everyone and welcome to another Stata introductory video tutorial. Today we'll be talking about some descriptive commands such as summarize, mean, tabulate, and a few others. This video um, picks up from where we left off last time after importing data and so I already have the entrance.dta file in my downloads folder and so I'll go ahead and drag and drop that here into Stata, a nice little feature and you can see that my data is already imported now. So let's go ahead and get started. So we are going to talk about the summarize command. You can also write sum for short. But this is a great way to get some descriptive statistics. So I just picked GPA, one of our many variables that we have up here. And it, the summarize command gives us some simple things like the number of, number of observations, the mean, the standard deviation, the minimum and the maximum observations. And with the sum command, you can actually list several different variables, like we'll pick GPA, ACT, and SAT scores. And as you can see, all in one table, these three variables will come and they give us the number of observations and all that good stuff. Sometimes you want a little bit more detail, and so there's actually an option that you can choose in the summarize command called detail. You can just put comma D for short, and it gives you, go ahead and click on more, it gives you a lot more detail. It tells you for each variable, the percentiles from 1 all the way to 99th percentile, and the smallest few and the largest few. Once again, it gives you the number of observations and the mean and the standard deviation, but this time it also gives you the variance the skewness, and the kurtosis. And we'll do this for all of the variables that you have in your, that, that you uh, signify. So that's the summarize command. Similar to it is the mean command. And so we'll go ahead and do GPA, we'll do ID, and we'll do age. As you can see here, once again, it's all in one table. But this gives you something a little different. Here it gives you the mean, but it also gives you the standard error and a 95% confidence interval. So you can see the distribution of that. In addition to the summarize and mean commands, we also have the tabulate command, but you can also put tab for short. And this will give you a frequency table when you put just one variable in there. But it'll give you a two-way frequency table when you put in two variables. So let's go ahead and put in gender and race. And you can see that it puts gender here on the y-axis and race here on the x-axis. And so you can see there's 16 people who are gender 1 and of race 0. And so that's a nice little way to uh, break things apart so you can kind of see what's happening with your data. Now if you wanted to put in an, uh, another variable, it's going to break because there's too many variables. The tab command only works with one and two variables. If you wanted multiple frequency tables, you would have to use the command tab1 in order for you to see what you want to see. So as you can see with tab1, we now have three separate frequency tables. Another command that we often use here in the Research Support Center is frequency, or FRE. Now that's a user-created command, and so you have to install it. And in order to install it, you have to type in ssc install FRE. Now I already have it installed on this computer, so it's going to say all files already exist and are up to date. But if you, the file has not been installed on your computer, it should install it very seamlessly. So then what you can do is just type in FRE and gender, GPA, age, race, whatever you want to do, and it'll show you all of these. Now one thing that's nice about this versus the tab1 command is we don't have them, but if you had right here uh, variable labels, well value labels, it would appear here, whereas the tab1 command it will not do that. So those are just some fun commands to see the numbers in the distribution of your data. 
Another command that is often useful is the proportion command that will show you the proportion of everyone who is of, you know, for this example, this age. So proportion, you can see that we've got two sevenths or 14.29% of the population is 17 years old. And it goes like that. Uh, this also gives you a standard error and a 95% confidence interval. Another way to view your data is by using histograms. For short, we just say hist, and Stata knows what we're talking about. So let's go ahead and see a histogram of GPA. It takes a little bit of time for it to you know, calculate it and draw it out, but here you go. You've got a nice little histogram of GPA. And there are options that will allow you to create a title here, or change the titles here, or change the colors, and all that stuff. But this is good enough for the introductory video. And if you ever want to know more about that stuff, you can just type in help, hist, and it'll give you the information that you need to add options or you know just the syntax, everything that you need. Another way to view your data visually is by using a scatter plot, and the command for that is just scatter. With scatter plots, you're going to need two variables, one for the x and one for the y axes. So let's do GPA and ACT. Now that's a pretty straight line as far as statistics are concerned. But you can see that we've got ACT right here and GPA right here. And once again, if you want to know more about how to change the look and feel of your scatter plot, type in help scatter. And that will bring up the help viewer and tells you how to deal with the scatter plot. And we'll get into a little bit more here with uh, some correlations here. Now there is the correlation command that you can use, but that doesn't tell you too much. And so I actually use the PW core command, it's piecewise correlation, because this gives me the option of putting in a significance level and stars and displaying the significance because you can see right here I mean 0.99 that's probably significant but there's no significant value it could be 0.051 and not be significant and I wouldn't know so the PW core command let's go ahead and do GPA and ACT and then do comma sig that'll tell us the significance and so you know yes clearly it is significant but now we can actually see that and there are other things that you can do such as star 0.05 and that'll star all of the correlations that are significant at the 0.05 level and you can change that to be whatever level you want and that's what we've got for today for descriptive statistics